How are cones and pyramids alike? So we have taken a cone here. This is the circular base and this is the lateral surface of this cone. And we have taken a pyramid, a square pyramid in particular, where in a square pyramid, the base of the pyramid is actually a square polygon. The polygon is a square. And from each side, we draw a triangular face. From each side, we draw a triangular face such that all the triangular faces meet at common vertex. That makes this a pyramid. Now, if we take the base of a pyramid in a way that we take a polygon that has more and more sides, right? Here we have four, let's take six, then let's take eight, then let's take 10. So what we have done is, in this case, we have taken a base that is actually a polygon that has 14 sides that has 14 sides and from each side we have drawn a triangular face and all the triangular faces meet at this common vertex again this is a pyramid but if you notice here if you compare this diagram to this diagram right there's a little similarity between these two diagrams but if you look at this one and this one you find that there's a lot of similarity in their shape right that is if you take this polygon, the base polygon, having more and more sides, take polygons such that they have more and more sides, greater than 40, let's take 20, 25, and so on and so forth. So this lateral surface will take a round shape and it will appear more and more like cone, right? More and more like a cone. That is why we say that, yes, uh, cones and pyramids look alike when the base is a polygon that has greater number of sides. It has more and more sides. That's a similarity.